I've got Coach Randy Stoughton with me here. He's one of the teaching professionals here in the facility. And we're going to talk a little bit about some of the tools they've got here and particularly what you can do to measure launch angle. Uh, you mentioned uh, to me in the past that launch angle is pretty important when it comes to analyzing a player's game. you got a great tool in the computer tracking system that will help you use it. Tell us a little bit about what it is and kind of how you use it. Well, the, the launch angle is the direction of the ball as it leaves your hand on its pathway down towards the break point, which in today's game is you know, away from the pocket. You know, we're throwing the ball away from the head pin, which means we need to have a specific target down lane to shoot at, otherwise known as a break point. And the launch angle is, what type of angle is the ball traveling at from the moment it leaves your hand to the moment it gets to that spot on the lane? And we use that tool regularly here in the, uh, in the training facility as a means to help the, uh, the bowler who is transitioning from sport, uh, uh, house shot leagues into sport leagues because they're always wondering, you know, why is my average 20, 30, 40 pins less than in sport versus when I'm bowling in my house shot leagues? It's because of the, they, they just don't have the concept of direction off the hand to the break point going away from the head pin because the house shot kind of helps you with that in the, in the pattern itself. The oil and the dry are set up that if you know how to play that house shot just right, it'll guide the ball down the lane for you. Whereas in a sport environment, that oil to dry ratio is so much less, you don't get that help. And if you miss right, it goes right. You miss left, it goes left. So putting together a concept that says, I'm gonna take this angle off my hand right here in, is the measurement that we use from 11 to 15 feet on its pathway towards the break point, which is gonna obviously take place after the end of the oil pattern. And most of your patterns today, house shots are, you know, in that 40 foot category, what we would call the medium pattern. Um, and, but in your sport patterns are gonna incorporate some of those too, but they're also gonna have some 47s, some 45s. They've got a mixed bag of donuts there. It can be as, as low as 32, as I, I think is the lowest one I've seen. So having something specific in your mind and on the lane to shoot at and an angle to that is gonna be what we would relate to as a launch angle. And then of course your return angle is gonna be called the entry angle. So having this tool and being able to measure somebody's game really gives you a great concept and understanding of not only what they're doing, but instant feedback from shot to shot with this tool as to how you can ad adapt or adjust their game to help increase the repeatability of that same launch angle. So a great tool in the facility uh, to go along with uh, the expert coaching really gives you a good perspective on how to build launch angles accurately for whatever lane pattern they're going to they're going to be on. Absolutely, and and as the as the bowler has to move their body away from their comfort zone levels, you know a lot of people just to give you some some numbers, you know, they want to slide on 20, that's a kind of a typical house shot between 20 and 25, mm -hmm. and then they're going to throw the ball to 10 board, and maybe 9, 8, but it's going to be down lane. And what happens a lot of times is the bowler starts to move left because the environment starts to break down, and but they don't move that spot, and they're actually looking at the arrows to hit 10 board. And that's where we start to see swings that get wrapped around their back, and to try to get that target line away from their ankle and now you don't have good energy on the ball it may get to the spot but if it returns it doesn't have anything to knock the pins over with if it even returns at all so it, it kind of cures the concept of that wraparound swing it certainly puts us on the right path to, to fixing that problem okay let's dig a little deeper into launch angle and, and identify how it would apply to our player a little bit of what they're doing maybe some alignment tools you can recommend for somebody that may want to play either a straighter launch angle and or a deeper one and what kind of adjustments on the approach can they make okay well your your straighter launch angle bowlers are going to you know on this case here where we're dealing with a 40 foot pattern we use a formula called pl minus 31 that stands for pattern length and 31 is sort of like our pi number and so on a 40 foot pattern pl minus 31 says nine board is the magic number at the end of the pattern at 40 feet. So if you were gonna have a zero launch angle on that pattern, you would wanna be sliding in the vicinity of 15 uh, with your slide foot to get that arm swing to go straight down the line of nine. Now, as the lane breaks down or as my game progresses into more of an inside out type of bowler, I've got a, you know, a pretty good rev rate and I like to slow loop it. Uh, my name's Tommy Jones. I'm gonna wanna say 15 and nine just don't go together for me. You know, he's probably never gonna start, you know, anywhere right of 20 on that same pattern. And he'll probably progress all the way into 30, 35 as the environment starts to break down. 
But the, the concept is figuring out how to, you matching up to the pattern and getting the lines to go to the break point. And everybody is going to have a different version of that based on their game, based on the ball that they have in their hand, based on uh, the number of games already being bowled and the type of balls being used. Mm -hmm. All of these things factor into how you move across. And this launch angle is going to be very, very important in keeping up with that transition and understanding that your feet are going to move twice as much as your eyes to get the ball to go to the same location. Yeah using the oil to the left of the ball and dry to the right of the ball, which is what we're all searching for. And if you're not searching for it, start. <laughs>